Hey, what's up? I'll be showing you how to clean and maintain your Bosch washing machine, keeping it clear of any mold or gunky buildup, smells that start building up in the washing machine as you use it more and more. To start with, you're gonna need to empty the drum of the washing machine. Just make sure there's nothing stuck in there. So if you're looking at this and you see that this, your, this model looks different to what you currently have, this will apply to most Bosch washing machines as this principle is just the same. Even across different brands, be it Samsung, LG, most front load washing machines, this is going to apply to most of those models. So you wanna make sure that there's nothing stuck in the drum, no clothes, nothing in there. And obviously we just wanna close the door, make sure everything is hooked up, the drain line is hooked up, the water line's hooked up. And then you're gonna grab yourself some bleach if you have some or if you don't grab yourself some eucalyptus and some white vinegar we're not going to put too much just be mindful of how much you're going to put in there because the white vinegar is a bit acidic and it eats up this nice metallic finish so you don't want to overdo this so make sure you're not putting too much 100 mils will do 100 mils of bleach and 100 mils of white vinegar and that will be a nice mix to take care of any mold that starts building up in here. So you might open up your washing machine and you see that there's a bit of mold in there and it's just looking bad. This will help you to sort out that problem. And also any smells that starts building up in your washing machine, this will take care of that problem. I post a lot more videos on these issues and other issues that might come up on your washing machine. So be sure to hit that subscribe button as I'll be posting more videos on fixes, on things that will happen to your washing machine. Any faults, I cover those, so be sure to hit that subscribe button or hit that like button, as it goes a long way to helping out this channel. So what you're gonna do then is you're gonna close the door, then I'll need you to select a cotton cycle, preferably a long one, this is a two hour, 27 minute one, and just put up the temperature, I'm gonna put mine up to about 60 degrees, and then, you're gonna hit the start button. So after you've hit the start button, it's gonna start washing, and then in about um, in about five minutes into the cycle, you're gonna grab your your bleach, and you're gonna put it open this the soap dispenser, and put where you normally put your washing powder or you normally put your washing liquid. You're gonna put your bleach in there and put 100 mils, don't overdo it, otherwise it'll just foam up too much. And then close that up and then continue with your cycle. When it's done doing all that, so after this cycle's done, you probably wanna do like an extra like cycle. So what I usually do is I just get some towels and I open the door, chuck them in there and then put some public softener in your soap dispenser, then run like a 30 minute wash or 40 minute wash so to clean out that that uh, bleachy white vinegar smell if you're a bit sensitive to bleach you can use eucalyptus as i said before but just be mindful of how much you're putting in this washing machine so some models will have an option that says drum clean on here you can use that option but if it doesn't do what i just said now now a very essential part of doing this maintenance is also checking your filter for things like coins or hairpins that have been left in your clothes, you wanna make sure that you're checking this because this is where this is where the drain pump for the washing machine is. And it's usually located on the bottom right hand corner of the washing machine. A lot of people leave this out and it causes problems down the line. So you wanna make sure that you're checking that once every three or four months depending on how often you wash. If you, if you don't wash that often, you can just um, uh, do it maybe every six months or so, but maybe once a month as well if you wash three to, or four times a week because things do tend to get stuck in there. So on the bottom right hand corner here, you've got a flap that you open just like so, and you could, this can come off. You can put a towel here 
and there will be this cap here that you need to twist anti-clockwise just keep twisting it all the way until it comes out and once it's out you want to make sure there's nothing stuck in there no coins hanging around in there and if you actually look out all the way into the back there down there you have to get your head down and have a look have a little squeezy look if there's anything obstructing your pump you want to make sure you clear it be it hair or any like necklaces or any lollipop sticks because that's where your washer drains from so if that's obstructed you won't be able to drain with the washer and then you're gonna have problems with getting this thing to work properly and you start getting errors on the washer there so you want to make sure that you're checking that as I said once every month if you wash three or four times a week or every three or four months depending on how often you wash and once you're done you want to make sure that this seal there's a rubber seal around this you want to make sure that's nice and clean just wipe it with a cloth or something and then just close up this cover just make sure it's nice and tight the other thing is like if you leave this for too long and you don't check this filter it will become stuff will just clog up in there so much that you come to open this and it won't budge you'll have problems it won't budge it won't open and then you'll have to call a technician to do a proper job smash it and probably put a new one in there so make sure you're always checking that and then that way you won't run into problems and once you're done just make sure you put everything back together and close it up that's about it it's pretty simple to maintain these washers just make sure that you load them up properly and you don't um, abuse them make sure you do a drum clean once in a while and if you've got pets make sure you always keep the door closed because sometimes they get a bit curious and then they start nibbling on the seal and then you start getting these little leaks down here on just flowing down here so you want to make sure that you are keeping the door closed other thing you want to make sure is this door just here there's hair that usually just gathers up here and that can usually cause it not to seal properly and then your washing machine will start leaking so you want to give this a wipe once every few so often and then that will take care of any problems that start building up on their washer and then you'll be good thanks for tuning in i'll see you on the next one